the best exotic marigold hotel is without a doubt one of the best British films with one of the best cast that I've ever seen. I recently discussed the second best exotic marigold hotel and upon reflection, as I think I might have mentioned in that in that discussion, I feel like the second one's got more to it. There's more meat to the narrative. I don't know if when making this first one they planned to do a sequel, but this one for me feels like it's more about just getting to know the characters and their personalities. There is obviously a narrative there, but it's not as prominent as the individual characters are. So I feel like they were setting us up for a second film. I don't know if that was the intention, but I'm glad it happened. This first one was released in 2011, directed by John Madden with a screenplay by Al Parker, based on the novel by Debram Mogach. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I am almost definitely not. I haven't read the novel. If you have read the novel, I'd love to know how it compares and you know, which you prefer, the film or the book. The cast is incredible. We'll get to the cast in a second. I'll talk about the narrative first. So the description from IMDb is as follows. British retirees travel to India to take up residence in what they believe is a newly restored hotel. Less luxurious than advertised, the Marigold Hotel nevertheless slowly begins to charm in unexpected ways. So we have these, as I said, retirees from all different walks of life in Britain. Um, we have single people, we have couples, we have people who are going there because it's cheap, people who are going there to get away from things. And they all kind of meet these strangers and it's all about their new life in this hotel in India and I guess how their personalities clash, how they gel, how they each deal with these changes to what they're used to. Because needless to say, life in India is very different to life in Britain in many ways. In some ways it's exactly the same. But... It's very fascinating to see how they all differ, how they all respond differently to different things, and it's an absolute delight to get to know these characters, primarily because they're interesting, but also because they're just so fascinating. Uh, the the actors playing them are the best of British. There are only maybe one or two actors who I think could have been in this, and it would have been the full package. We have. Among others, Judy Dench, Bill Nye, who I absolutely love, um, Maggie Smith, Penelope Wilton, uh, Lisa Tarbuck's in it, not as one of the elderly people travelling there, she plays a nurse, uh, Celia Imrie's in it. The cast is just absolutely fantastic. The one thing that I think wasn't a character enough is the hotel. We do obviously get to see the hotel, we get to see, um, well, problems that arise, but I feel like it's not what I expected. We don't spend as much time in the hotel as I would have expected. It's not a problem, but as I said, just not what I was expecting. So when you're going into it, you know, not, it's not like The Shining where it's 99% in the hotel. I don't know if that statistic's factually correct, but you know what I mean. But it's an absolute delight to watch these fantastic British actors doing this really comedic. It is comedic. There are times when it gets sentimental. But doing this really kind of quick-witted comedy, romantic comedy at times, it has the full package. And it's one of those films that I think it doesn't matter what kind of film you like. It doesn't matter who your favourite directors are. This is a film that will appeal to everybody in one way or another. There is going to be a character you will relate to. The locations are really fascinating. You know, the set designs are beautiful. It's There's definitely something in it for everybody. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, I do thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. If you haven't seen the second one, I also recommend that one as well. But obviously I would say... Watch this one first because there are some really nice character developments and there are certain characters in this which are maybe not prominent as much as I would like them to be but they're certainly more prominent in the second film. So if you watch this one and you think it's okay, give the second one a go. But for now, definitely watch the first one. It's good fun, wonderful British cast, really, really phenomenal. 
brilliant acting. Just an absolute delight from start to finish. I, I can't really fault it. 